I have so much stuff to do. I have to keep my grades up. My parents just don't understand. My teachers give us way too much work. But I have soccer practice this afternoon. I'm exhausted. I haven't had time to do that yet. How do I have a D in math? I just want to sleep in for lunch. My parents are going to flip when they see my report card. What am I going to do? I don't know when I'm going to be able to get my community service hours done. Why can't I look like that one celebrity on Instagram? More homework? This assignment is worth how many points? This weekend is so busy for me. I'm so overwhelmed. I have so much to do. If you ask today's teams how their lives are going, you will most likely hear them say they are tired, stressed, and busy. Teams are beginning to feel the pressure of more demanding curriculum, longer hours spent on homework, standardized testing, and competitive college admission requirements. Many also have to deal with split families, relationship difficulties, and financial problems, which increase the stress they're feeling on a daily basis. Throw in after school activities, lodging for community service hours, and less interaction with family and friends can lead many teens to feel that there's just not enough time. Stress is defined as pressure or tension exerted on a material object or a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstances. Stress can lead to health issues such as depression, anxiety, pain, sleep problems, digestive problems, skin conditions, heart disease, weight problems, reproductive issues, and thinking and memory loss. In Times November 7, 2016 issue, there was a cover story called The Kids Are Not Alright. It states that the number of kids who are struggling with these issues is staggering. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, more than 3 million adolescents ages 12 to 17 reported at least one major depressive episode in the past year, and more than 2 million reported severe depression that impeded their daily functioning. I think the most stressful situation I've faced so far at school would be maybe like getting homework and then um, not being able to finish the homework because I don't have time and then the next day I get more homework and then I have more things to do so it's more stressful. For me it's not one thing it's how everything kind of clumps together into one big stressful situation that is high school. I think one of the most stressful situations I've really ever been in was if you have all in one day a million and a half things that you have to do and they're all like at the same time you have to kind of stagger them and work on your time management to be able to get them all done but you have to do them all. I face tests where I've seen questions I don't know how to answer so I end up skipping the questions and I can't answer the rest of the questions and I get stressed out. The most stressful situation had to be when I was bullied in sixth grade and I dealt with it by ignoring the bully and eventually reporting him and getting it dealt with. In video production, uh, we are going through competition, and I'm in a lot of clips of that, so it's really hard for me to do all of that and balance good grades with algebra and everything else that I do in school. The most stressful situation I face is probably when the big testing comes around because I really want to do good on them, and it really stresses me out. I think the most stressful situation I've faced so far in school is like end of year exams or like midterm exams with some teachers because I just get really stressed out because I know if I don't get a good grade then I might not be in the class next year or I may not be in the accelerated program anymore. Uh, the most uh, stressful situation I was been in was uh, getting bullied when I, because I was Asian and I just ignored that. My most stressful situation is probably solo female and I handle it by taking breaks and just breathing. Managing my time takes like a lot of organization, a lot of planning. You have to do it ahead of time, especially since I don't have a car and I can't drive, so I can't take myself places. It takes a lot of talking back and forth with my parents to make sure that we have everything organized and planned. My PE teacher, she laid an exam on me like Wednesday. She told us about the exam, and then we had the exam Thursday, so I didn't know any about it until that day, so I had to study a lot that night, and I didn't even get to like watch any electronics or anything. Polk County School psychologist Amanda Leach has seen the effects of stress and anxiety on students firsthand. I think that teens are mostly stressed about organizing their lives. So being able to have to worry about school, extracurricular activities, home issues, anything going on in their family, dealing with their friends, and then it just kind of all comes together and makes them really anxious and stressed at times because they don't know how to manage all those feelings at once. So what's going on? How are you feeling? And I usually get the comment, oh, I'm so stressed. Well, what is my first question going to be? 
what are you stressed about? And honestly, you guys, kids can't tell me. So for me as a counselor and for the other counselors, it's getting to what is making them upset. It's really what is going on in their lives. When kids start feeling stressed, they may turn to the parents and teachers for guidance and help prioritizing their busy lives. I think you have to make a list. So you have to go through and list out all the things that you have to do, the things that are fun to do, and then kind of mix those. You want to get what you have to do done, but you also have to put some fun and times in there to relax. Otherwise, you will be stressed all the time and not finding ways to calm yourself so that you can be ready for the next thing that you have to do. Whenever I have to manage my time, I have to manage my time through doing what I like, having friends, and doing everything else that I have to do. So when I do what I have to, I have to put passion into it, and it's really hard for me to put passion into what I have to do when I don't like it. Reducing stress may be very hard in the long run, but easy if you follow these simple steps. Set aside some leisure time. Do something you enjoy every day. Keep your sense of humor. Don't overcommit yourself. Delegate some of your responsibilities and eat a healthy diet. I think the most important thing to share with students is that if you are feeling overwhelmed, there are lots of people here to help. So you have your teachers, you have your parents, sometimes talking to your friends help. You can come and talk to your counselors. All these different people are here to help you if you're feeling overwhelmed. And a lot of times when you're feeling overwhelmed, it's just knowing your strategies to calm yourself so that you can prioritize. I handle stressful situations by, like if I have work, I'll put it to the side and just take a few minutes to relax so I don't feel too overwhelmed. And then after a while, I'll go back to the work and do, do all the work. I would say that my tip for handling stressful situations are definitely to keep calm, give yourself or at least something to do that you enjoy doing so that you know you don't get overwhelmed. I would say make agendas and like just plan out before you do stuff. My helpful tip to handle stress would probably be study hard and when you walk in the room to do the test, feel really confident about yourself and that, say to yourself that you're going to pass the test. I usually just listen to music and draw to take stress off. I handle stressful situations by dealing them with tuning myself out with the real world by usually playing video games or watching TV. I have some helpful tips like stay off your electronics, do all your work before the test or something like that so you don't have as much stress as you did before. Maybe find a friend to talk with. To manage my time, I usually use planners. If you just focus on doing one thing at a time, then it helps a lot. If you need help just as an adult. And a lot of times kids will say, this doesn't work, right? If I squeeze this, this doesn't help me at all. So what you actually want to do is you want to squeeze them really, really hard because what you're doing is you're tensing all of the muscles and you want to hold that for a minute. And then you let it go and you let it do it really slow and open your hand. And what you're doing is releasing all of that tension in your arm and that's how stress balls are actually supposed to work. Instead of just going like this, that doesn't work as much when you're just squeezing them over and over again. So practicing that way is one way to help calm down and relieve some of that stress in your body. The other is breathing. So many people breathe wrong. So a lot of times when people breathe, they go like this and they go, and they, they suck in and they get all tense up here. But what I want you guys to practice is expanding your stomach when you breathe because your air is going in, so your stomach should be getting nice and full. And then you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So let's try it. So put your hands on your stomach, and everyone's hands should go out when they breathe. So take a deep breath, and then go through your mouth. That way you're not creating tension in your body whenever you're breathing as long as you keep that stomach nice and full, but if you suck in, you're creating more tension and it's not gonna help you. So taking those deep breaths before test. Two things, remember that you've got tons of people to talk to, and if you're really stressed, come down and see your counselors, okay? It's time for teens to take back control of their lives and stop spreading themselves so thin. If they don't, they will be having health problems, which are usually seen in much older people. Focus on what's most important. Spend time with family and friends and cut out any activities that cause you stress and anxiety. Surround yourself with a good support system and you will make it through your teen years a much happier, healthier person. Kennedy Hamilton, Trisha Pring, TSC News.